Um, yes, I know it's a little late, but is it possible to reserve a table for two at 8 or 8.30, perhaps? <laughs> Welcome to fucking culinary subterfuge. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world chickadees it didn't exist. All right, so I guess this is a podcast. Chickadees presents culinary subterfuge. I don't have a lot of time. Let's keep this moving. Um, I'm supposed to be washing dishes right now uh, and keeping appearances, so I'm going to try to do this as discreetly as possible. First, let's answer some questions about chickadees uh, that I've had. Uh, One question is, is this even a real restaurant? Yeah. I don't imagine someone would put the effort into a fake restaurant, so that's a stupid question. Uh, Why a podcast? Uh, Because this is the best and only restaurant podcast in St. John, New Brunswick, maybe the world. And I don't know how to podcast, so I'm still confident in thinking it's the best restaurant podcast in St. John. Uh, What is my name? No. No, we're not doing that. I need to keep appearances use my government name uh, on these real jobs uh, that I get in restaurants Uh, so you can call me uh, uh, CD for chickadees so we'll say CD Uh, that'll be my name Uh, what is the business model of chickadees I get that sometimes Uh, basically uh, it's like a secret pop-up kind of scenario Uh, maybe a form of art we can call it an art show Uh, and also part of the business model is operating out of real restaurants or going into real restaurants to extract uh, very real inventory uh, for our offerings. Um, What is special about chickadees? So, basically, chickadees is upfront honest. Uh, You won't get sick eating chickadees. You will get full. Uh, we get the job done. Uh, you pay a fair price, and the menu is ever changing. Also, if you ever mispronounce an item from the menu, you will not be corrected, and our wait staff will also use your pronunciation as to not make you uncomfortable or self conscious. Um, will we have a brick and mortar location eventually? There are some issues. Uh, with a couple of government employees about getting getting a location up and going. Uh, I've had some issues with uh, local uh, property management companies. Uh, I'll say that uh, KB from H, uh, who had some uh, some leasing opportunities, that meeting did not go well. So I don't, I can't get into that, and we'll see how, we'll see how that turns out in court. Uh, someone had said, "I've had your food, and although it was acceptable, which I appreciate, uh, they, I felt weird after." That's not so much a question that they had, uh, but it's fair. Yes, you did feel weird after that. Uh, we often add cannabis oil uh, to meals. Uh, unknown to you and at no cost to you so you're welcome who are your culinary heroes I would say Barth from Barth uh, Barth's Burgers uh, he just he just wanted to feed those kids uh, Yan from Yan from, uh, Yan can cook I posted that today I loved watching him cook and his like his just cheesy puns and just seemed like a, such a sweet and friendly soul that really enjoyed it. And as a child, after I think it was like Teddy Ruxpin would be over and then he would come on, I think, or something like that. And I was always excited when, when his show came on. So those would be my two culinary idols. Um, some people are asking, are we hurting local restaurants by uh, taking positions that could go to uh, a better employee? And... Uh, they, they use the word stealing food um, and selling, you know, 
selling food out of their own establishments uh, for our uh, financial profit. I'm not going to get into a philosophical debate uh, about morality or fairness. And two, I'm trying to build a business. It's positive. It's for the greater good. Uh, it's good for the local economy. Uh, it's jobs. And, uh, you know, a rising tide lifts all boats. So I think that settles that. Um, how will you continue to create content that people will listen to? Now, I'm not sure how frequent or how long these podcasts will be. Uh, I have no real experience podcasting or... We'll see, we'll see how it goes. As far as material, I mean, if you had material you wanted me to share, if you had a funny uh, restaurant story as an employee uh, that you wanted to send anonymously, uh, you could do that. I'll have the uh, contact information in in the uh, in the episode description. But it's chickadeessj at gmail and on Twitter and Instagram also at chickadees sj also i'll put those in the podcast description um yeah so you can send me uh, your anonymous stories uh you can send me restaurant reviews uh culinary ticks and (laughs) ticks culinary uh, tricks and tips um reviews questions and i'll read them so there's some material um Oh, and you can tell all your friends and family about chickadees, too. You can do that. Um, So this podcast, as you can see in the title, uh, is Culinary Subterfuge. And I thought that was was a good good title. I almost forgot. Uh, There are no substitutes. Just a second. Could they be be louder in here? Sorry. Uh, There's no substitutes. with chickadees so I want to get that out of the way no one asked that question but it will be so I want to be upfront about that Um, you get what you get um, for a few reasons Uh, we only have what we have for ingredients uh, and those ingredients sometimes are maybe a little more narrow in selection uh, due to the fact that we're skimming them from uh, the restaurant's supply you know while we work undercover uh, work in quotations um, also, we do get we do get some uh, some of our inventory, you know, ethically. Uh, for those wondering, um, one of those ways is like a dairy cow. I've stumbled upon this wild market where if a, di- a dairy cow stops producing, you can get them dirt cheap for meat. Uh, so that's been our go-to for beef. Uh, and if you follow me on Instagram uh, at chickadees sj, uh, you can see that I posted a picture of uh, our kids' meal, which is a beef tartar in the shape of a funny face. Um, and now there may, from time to time, be vegan options or gluten-free options, but not guaranteed, uh, and they won't be intentional. It's just you know we have what we have. Uh, so yeah, no substitutions and I think that should do it. I need to keep a low profile in here Um, this local restaurant uh, just hired me on uh, and I don't want to draw too much attention to myself Um, so email anything you want to the podcast follow us follow us on socials and I posted a week or two ago uh, a bounty on Italian by night Uh, Basically, you just need to record yourself ordering your meal, and you have to say, Gabagoo, over here, and like tap the table. Uh, I didn't set the amount of the gift card, uh, the Amazon gift card reward, because I feel like I want to see it before I say like, you know, that's worth $10, $15, $20, or whatever. So that is still there for the taking, and I'm very serious about that. Very serious. Uh, I don't want you to be rude or anything like that. Just video... You telling the uh, the staff, Gabagoo, over here, and you gotta tap the table and get it on recording. Um, so I think that's it. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what this is, but it is a podcast about a restaurant. 
I will be back at some point. Uh, I will continue posting. I usually take the weekends off as I um, start to plan out uh, our menu and stuff like that. Uh, our poutine burger for poutine week last week was really huge, so thank you all for uh, buying those. Uh, so that is it. Until next time, as Wesley Willis would say, rock over London, rock on Chicago, stuff your holes at Chickadee's. Thank <laughs> you.